Hi there, everyone. This is Sean007-1986. Well, with the whole Jets um, situation, with Aaron Rodgers going down with a, with a season and the injury, and also dealing with the craziness with Colin Kaepernick and all that crap, the Jets have, fought, have needed a quarterback. So you know that Sam Wilson is not doing anything that wows people. They finally signed one to their practice squad. The Jets signed uh, veteran quarterback Trevor Trevor Simeon to the practice squad. I mean, this from AP. Jets signed veteran Simeon to their practice squad while Kaepernick reaches out for an opportunity. The New York Jets signed veteran quarterback Trevor Simeon to the practice squad today. Practice squad Tuesday, giving them an experienced backup to embattle starter Zach Wilson. The team announced the move after the 31-year-old Simeon passing physical at the Jets practice facility at Forham Park, New Jersey. Wilson struggle, has struggled since taking over for Aaron Rodgers, who tore his left Achilles tendons four snaps into his debut with the New York Jets. Wilson has two touchdown passes and four interceptions with a 52.4% completion rate and is averaging just 5.6 yards per pass. Yikes. Several names have been mentioned as potential backups. Several names have been mentioned in potential backups for the Jets. Former San Francisco quarter, 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick wrote a letter to New York George, uh, general manager Joe Douglas asking the team to consider signing him to the practice squad. The, later, the letter, dated September 21st, was released on social media by rapper J. Cole. A person close to Kaepernick speaking on condition of anonymity anonymity because it's a private matter, confirmed to the AP the legitimacy of the letter. It was not immediately known, however, if Douglas or someone in the Jets organization have actually received or saw the letter. I I would be honored and extremely grateful for the opportunity to come in and lead the practice lead the practice squad. Kaepernick wrote in a two page letter. I would do this with the sole mission of getting your defense ready each week. Kaepernick's last played in the NFL for in in with the 49ers on January 1st, 2017, after being kneel after being kneeling on the sideline of games during the National Anthem to protest social injustice and police brutality. He said in the letter that he's been working out five days a week during his last six years and remains confident in his abilities. After the Jets 15-10 loss to the New England Patriots on Sunday dropped them to one and two, Coach Robert Sala it's just the team was sticking with Wilson because right now he gives us the best chance to win. That did not sit well with fans, including Pro Football Hall of Famer Joe Namath, who said during the interview on the Michael Queso at 98.7 ESPN New York on Monday that I've seen enough of Zach Wilson. During his weekly appearance on the Pat McAfee show on Tuesday, Roger said the Jets needs to hold, hold our poise referring to some sideline blow-ups between a few players and coaches during the some of these games. He said the office needs to grow up a little bit and has implored fans to not lose faith in the team this early in the season. I mean, yeah, it's only like, what, three games in? You only lose faith in the team after week six, because after week six, that's where the eliminations kick in. Let's just take a couple breaths, and I'm not going to say we need to relax. I saw how Rodgers says, referred to one of his often quoted lines when he was in Green Bay. Rodgers said he likely won't return to the Jets facility until he can walk, but said he misses being around his teammates and coaches, and the time away <coughs> has confirmed his desire to continue playing. I feel like I was there. Some of those things wouldn't be there, would be happening, Rodgers said. Not sure it would be 3-0. and I don't know. I like to think there's a possibility of that. It's more the side stuff that I don't like. I want us to stick together through through the tough times. Roger appears to make it decline. Rogers also appeared to make an indirect reference to name his comments, among others. When we not have a success, how do you respond? Roger said. How do we respond to adversity? That goes for our fan base and former players as well. You're not helping the cause. So they reviewed the team's comment on Wilson on Monday, saying he's our unquestioned quarterback. That remains the case, but Simeon's at least gives Silas and the Jets another option if Wilson 
continues to falter, beginning the beginning with their next game Sunday night at home against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Career back on Tim Boyle was the only other quarterback on the New York's roster. This is Simeon's second stint with the Jets after he was with them in 2019. He made one start for the New York for New York when Sam Donald was sidelined with Mono Nukulis, but suffered a season in the injury ankle injury early in the Monday night football game against Cleveland on September 12. Simeon was a seventh round pick of of Denver out of Northwestern in 2015 and was the backup to Peyton Manning during the team's Super Bowl run during his rookie season. He started 24 games over three seasons with the Broncos before being traded to Minnesota in 2018. After being injured for most of his most of the next season with the Jets, <coughs> Simeon had stints with Tennessee, New Orleans, Chicago, and was among Cincinnati's cuts after training camp this summer. He started one game for the Bears last season against the Jets in place of an injured Justin Fields. Simeon was 14 of 25 for 179 yards and a touchdown with an interception in Chicago's 31 to 10 loss. Simeon has thrown for 7,027 yards with 42 touchdowns with 28 interceptions during his NFL career. He is also 13 of 7 as a starter. Yeah, I mean, Simeon's may not be the best option, maybe not be the best option for the Jets, but you know the old saying, beggars can't be choosers. I should, I should know. I'm one of them. I'm one of them with my team where we had to go through so many quarterbacks, and Lord, and Lord have mercy during the, um, during the, um, during the Dan Snyder uh, era, we been through a lot of quarterbacks. But I'm willing to give this, be giving Trevor Simeon the chance. I mean, come on. Of course, a lot of people are still upset that Colin Kaepernick did not get signed with the Jets, and the Jets didn't uh, pick over him. With Jamel Hill, of all people, decided to go go on X, formerly known as Twitter, and said the Jets signed Trevor Simeon, who check notes hasn't won a game as a starting quarterback since 2017. To which everybody looked at her and was like, are you for real? Like, are you for real? Okay, so he hasn't won a game. Okay, so, yes. He hasn't won a game since 2015. He hasn't won a game in game since 2017. So, what? I mean, heck, I better take my chance. I'll take my chance with this guy over a guy who hasn't been in the league since, since 2017. And that's seven years ago. Dude's trash, man. And also, here's the part that I love that Stephen A. Smith put out on first take today, but he forgot to leave out a, a lot of things about Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick was also was about to get signed to the Baltimore Ravens until his girlfriend leaked, went on Twitter and tagged a picture of the owner, not only the owner of the Ravens, but also Ray Lewis, the legendary linebacker for the Ravens to a picture of Leonardo DiCaprio and Sam Jack Sam Jackson's character from Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained. I'll let you leave. I'll let you think on what 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 that picture mean on for real for real. And then there's also that time where he where um the Broncos was willing to give him a chance, but he messed the f that up as well. But if you really want to think about it, I think. Oh, and hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me on. Let me break. There's also that one incident where the NFL was willing to give him a private workout at an NFL state-of-the-art facility, give him everything they wanted, but because he didn't want to sign a liability waiver. <clears throat> Hold on, let me finish. He didn't sign a liability waiver. Colin Kaepernick decided to move the workout from an NFL facility to a high school in Georgia and YouTube it live. Clearly, this guy isn't um doesn't um want act like he wants to play in the NFL. He's just doing this. To, the reason why he's do he were doing all this. 
is to it's for both two reasons clout and money but I think it but if you really want to know how his NFL season was completely dead was when he had that T Netflix show call it in black and white where in one episode he compared the NFL draft combine to a slave auction I saw the clip. I didn't watch the show because it wasn't for me. But I saw the clip. And when he said that, I was like, yeah, his career, his NFL career is dead now. He did all this crap. He did all this unnecessary BS over the NFL. And yet, he wants them and now he wants to go back to the NFL, you know, the quote-unquote plantation that he called it, just so he can play? Evidently, the NFL moved on from him. I don't blame him, and I wouldn't sign him, because he's too much of a headache. Who in their right mind would want a headache like Colin Kaepernick be on their roster? Because if you get him, the only, what you know what breaks with him? A media circus that takes away takes away the attention on preparing for games. I know this. Any sports fans know this, but you can't tell that to Jamel Hero or the woke sports media. They always act like Colin Kaepernick is the victim, but he's not. He's an how should I put this? An idiot, to say the least. Now I would say something really messed up, but I don't want to. I want to be civil for once. But if I, the only thing I got to say for Colin Kaepernick is, dude, your career is dead. <coughs> no one wants you except the fact you suck. You suck. It's over. Your career is done. Fernito, shut the hell up. And retire. But no, he's gonna try to do this. Another, but no, people are gonna keep on talking about him because it's like you know they feel like oh he's a victim. Yeah right, he ain't no victim. He's an asshole, that's for sure. But yeah, I'm actually sick and tired of this guy. And keep oh, but don't worry. Oh, but but you know what? Don't worry. Next month, I'm getting. Next month, wild card football will be installed on my console, and when I put together my team, my cus, my team, which will be Team Sean, I am going to, I am going to rack up so many sacks off of Colin Kaepernick, and record that crap. That I'm pretty sure every moron on Black Twitter is going to get mad at me. And you know what? I won't give a care. But that's just my two cents on the whole thing. I want to know what y'all think of this of Kaepernick doing this, uh, whatever the fuck he's doing it nowadays, you know. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss out update. Serve your friends, serve your neighbors, serve your others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Sean Double Seven Nineteen Six signing off. Thank you for watching this video. Really means a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless you all. And Jamel Hill, please shut up about Ka Colin Kaepernick. He doesn't want to play. Stop trying to stop. Stop trying to get teams to sign this idiot. He's trash. Always has been. Always will be. It was a boo 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 boo, but he he well oh, I know what but, 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 but he said he brought the Niners to a Super Bowl and he didn't win it. There's a difference between getting to the Super Bowl and winning it. I'm sorry, but getting to the Super Bowl isn't the same as winning it. Just accept it. Cap is trash. Deal with it.